Is he your friend, Alpha? Yes, yes. You know, anybody in search for the truth is my friend. Look at you, you know. Before, Jenny, you were so playful, so careful. Now that we've begun, you've become serious and you ask such careful questions. After my joining you has made me realize that I was perhaps wrong about why you behaved the way you did before. At home, with all the best of material comforts, you still had this great yearning. And here, even though we have nothing, you are so much at peace. Look, there comes a traveler from another country. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, good day, sir. Where are you headed? Mm, what is your profession? I am the one who looks at the skies, at the stars, and studies them. I too have studied astrology. I'm most pleased to meet you. No, sir, it is indeed my pleasure to meet a fellow scientist. Well, why don't you join us for some tea? I would indulge in knowing more from you. Why, that will be my pleasure indeed, sir, for I'm sure I will be the one who will gain from you. I am most honored by those who search for knowledge through the workings of the universe. But, hmm, let me ask you one thing. Do you believe that Socrates stands next to the prophet as a fellow servant of God? How can that be? Socrates was a pagan. Yes, yes. He was a pagan indeed, but he was also a servant of the truth. He taught us the truth through reason, while the prophet taught us the truth through revelation. My question is this, though. Do we need both reason and revelation? I do not know if I can answer that. I do know that the prophet has said, seek knowledge, even if it takes you to China. I know the value of knowledge that comes through reason, careful observation. Yes, yes. Does careful observation teach you anything about responsibility to the world? Knowledge of the world through careful reflection and observation has got nothing to do with this sort of responsibility. Then, sir, I have no choice. I must seek further. I must continue my search. Master, you are too forthright when you ask your questions. And this could offend people, do you realize? Tabu, you do not understand. I've wasted 40 years of my life. I need to feel satisfied. I need to feel as if my search is going to get me my answers. I am so despondent. I am so disillusioned. I can imagine so much. I can think so much in my mind. But what can I achieve? So little. I want to know why. Why the constraints of time? Why the limitations of the body? Why do they restrain my soul? Why do they control my freedom? from sorrow at being unable to find an answer to this. My back bent prematurely from sadness when I reflected how much human existence depends on the limiting laws of the inanimate world, vegetative force, and animal life.
Agak luk. Sampai di. Good day, sir. Good day. What's ailing you? Sir, you look so despondent. No. Yes. <coughs> the weather has tried me and my friends sorely. We are now exhausted. Tell me, what is it that you do? I spend my time studying the words of God. The Quran? Yes. <coughs> I have studied the Quran as well. I know it off by heart. I follow the laws strictly. Yet, there is still this pain within my heart. How could, how could that be if you are righteous in obedience to the words of God and to the practice of the Prophet? Is obedience sufficient? Of course. No. Intellect must come first, then obedience. If you practice sufficiently, you do become good. Well then, if, if imitation is sufficient, why then are children and madmen exempt from prayer? Well, children and madmen cannot reason. Exactly my point, sir. The rules must be learnt through reason. Otherwise, piety is meaningless. The intellect must therefore come first. I have a suggestion for you, sir. Over in that direction, you will find answers to your questions. Travel on that path, and you will find what you are searching for. Good luck to you. I can see a greatness in you bursting to come through. May Allah always be on your mind. Tada. and the eternity and an eternity condemned 